Hi everybody, my name is Bebrucify. Welcome to Let's Play Paper Mario and for the N64. Now, I'm gonna give you a little story on this. Uh, well, not really a story, hang on. Why the fuck does that for say I have four save files? I clearly created one, not four. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the emulator glitches out like that. Okay, so, um, what happened was, you see, um, all day I've been trying to get this piece of shit to work. What the fuck? Okay, delete file, start a new one. Oh no, oh no. Um, so what happened, what happened was, all day I'm trying to get this piece of shit to work. But, um... Okay, well, whatever, fuck. I guess we can only create... I guess it can really technically only hold one save file since... This is a vi on Viz. Whatever. Oh, uh, anyway, all day I was trying to get this piece of shit to work. Uh, what's happened was... The reason I didn't... I... I was let's playing. I was gonna let's play this, and I was about seven minutes in when the worst thing happened. No, no nothing bad to my computer. No, 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 nothing bad to Camtasia, but the game itself. The game. When I was at the part where um, Bowser and uh, what's her fucking face um, crashes in, the screen would not stop flashing. So. I'm gonna try to let's play this game. I hope it's not bad for the rest of the game. I hope that's the only part that's bugged and glitched. And when it's dark, when we're in a, when Mario and uh, friends are in a dark area, they turn silhouette, which isn't really bad if you think about it. I mean, in battle they turn back to normal, and the battles are what really is important. But what I'm saying is, with the flashing effect, you know, it actually caused some straining on my eyes and I couldn't possibly play it. So, well not really bad strain, but it did give me a bit of a headache. And it, it did, I know, actually did strain my eyes a bit. So, so what I'm gonna do is to, so that nobody, nobody possibly gets, oh there it is, okay. So no one, it's not possible for anyone to get any headaches and stuff. I'm going to pause the video during the scene where it's flashing and unpause it but it's cause now I was gonna you might try oh play it on an actual emulator you know maybe maybe the plug-in pump no because the N64 emulator is apparently too new and it go it makes my computer go over the 3 gigabyte usage limit and crash yeah I, I talked to my brother and he says that's what he thinks the reason is and I believe it, I believe him because it's already my computer barely has anything open. When I, I closed everything, and it said it was running using up to 1.6 gigabytes. And remember, my computer has a few viruses I haven't yet deleted. Not really harmful because I have a vast protecting me, and I have a whole bunch of antivirus, a few antivirus softwares protecting me. So enough with the intro. Let's just get on with the fucking game. So yeah. Here it's fine, everything looks fine, everything looks like it would be on the actual console. Wait a minute, why does it... Oh, never mind. Um, sorry, if it went weird for a second, that's because I was holding control and scrolling up and down. Doing that zooms in and out. I'm wondering why the fuck there's black... There's... Uh, black... Black lines around... Me. Oh, you guys can see. You guys can see that, right? Oh well, who cares? You see. Oh shit. Okay. So I'm gonna pause. It. I'm gonna pause it here, and I'll meet you guys back here because this is giving me a hit. Okay. Flashing has stopped. I don't know. I guess it only happens at specific times. Funny thing is, this actually runs very smoothly. That doesn't. I forgot. This is not fucking Mario and Luigi. But, Superstar Sega, but yeah, um, it, this actually runs very smoothly, as far as I see there's no graphical effect, the only awkward thing is the controls because it's all touch screen, I mean, I mean, unless you're used to that, 
But yeah, some games require acquire real nice precision. Blue Memorial is fighting, you're throwing my son. Today your pathetic little attacks won't be me. Be the Star Rod. See, in the original um, uh, video, I actually showed the intro. I didn't feel like showing it again because I know it's necessary to the story, but I just didn't feel like showing the video again and watching it again and explaining all that bullshit all over again. So, the idea if you don't know the story, basically Bowser stole this thing called the Star Rod. It helps power wishes, I, I guess. I'm not saying I guess, like it's a boring story or I don't really know. I'm saying I guess because because that's what I think it does. Because he takes it and now no one can grant wishes. Either that or it's because he ha it has full control over Star Haven. So, so yeah, you try doing this and it doesn't work. Oh, um, I, I bet when this battle ends it's going to start flashing in. Sorry if... You see me flashing and you get a headache, okay? I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to prevent it. Hang on. Oh, there it comes. Okay, so, um, sorry if you miss any story and you really care about that. Hang on, it's gonna flash for a bit. See, okay, sorry. Um, I did see that after. I think it only happens in dark rooms during cutscenes. I think when text boxes appear so I don't think it happens anytime after because when I I went as far as this okay see that black square around Kid Mario that's not supposed to be there it's cuz a gra it's a graphics it's a plugin issue and so yeah yeah there's literally nothing I can do about this I said I keep saying I tried uh, Project 64 and it crashed my computer. Um, now it says I don't have the plugin for some reason and I don't know why I might have accidentally deleted something important. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I literally don't know why. Anyway, so I, I checked all my other emulators. I don't know. Project 64 is just all fucked up on my computer. Maybe I should delete it and reinstall it. So these are the Star Elders. They're Checking up on old poor Mario. Everyone just calm down as long as we keep together. There's no... Yeah, they must revive Mario. Dang, look, they're really powerful because they're trapped, but they can... But they have the power to appear... Appear to Mario. Hmm. But they have the power to appear to Mario and heal him even. That's that's some power. Oh, what am I gonna do? See when I, I was playing when I was playing this on my phone. Um Oh. Hang on, excuse me a minute. Give me a second. I said that was really bad grammar. Anyway, Dad Goomba, Goombario. I do. I have the Dolphin emulator, and I did get uh, Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door, and I'm probably gonna get soon. Gonna get a. Uh, um, I can legally get play this game and uh, see ROMs are legal if you own the actual physical copy. Pirating is illegal no matter what, but ROMs are different. Um, I can legally play um, the Paper Mario 64 and uh, Super Paper Mario for the Wii because uh, I have both game. I have. Paper Mario 64 on the Wii Virtual Console, and I hope that counts. It should count. I mean, I did. It was paid for. To, it was paid for to the company who made it, and I have. I do have Super Paper Mario Wii, which cost me like, which was only twenty dollars, and it is, and it is awesome. 
I was going to get a thousand year door and I did see it at a microplay and if you don't know I live in Canada and microplay is our, basically our Canadian GameStop. So I didn't know what GameStop was. I'm like what's GameStop? And I'm like oh it's I get, it's their, I'm, it's their microplay. Yeah. I'm not focusing on the store. I'm sort of giving more, being, I'm being informative again. And I'm actually having a great time because this is such an awesome game. Oh man, there's even some humor, and Goompa is like one of the funniest motherfuckers ever, he tells, oh god, okay, I start with a mustache, maybe you just had a dream, hmm, so yeah, uh, the thing is, um, I was gonna get a thousand year door for GameCube, I saw that microplay for like, what, 35 bucks? I regret not getting it. It's I played it. It's such a good game. I can't buy it off Steve because he obviously wants to keep all his Paper Mario games. Um, I did buy Super Mario, Mario and that was awesome. I do have Sticker Star in my uh, 3DS collection. Uh, let's hope that the fourth Paper Mario is not like Sticker Star. It's locked. You can't open it. Here's Mario. Hey, Gamari, what's up? Okay, the save states and load states are working. Just in case you know the save, the in-game save is broken. Just saying. Because you can't always rely on these emulator ROMs. It's like playing a... It is... That's the one thing I say that's similar. The gate looks like it's broken. Just Mario can jump over that. Okay, maybe he can't. Anyway, so... So yeah, during the part... So sorry about if you miss any story. But during the parts where there's an insane amount of flashing on the screen. I do not want my viewers getting he any headaches. So the last thing you need... last thing you need to do is, you know... That's like if you were... That's like if PewDiePie was playing... Was playing a game with a bunch of flashing light and strobing lights. The last thing you want... It's headaches. Or even more seizures. Uh, I sorry, I thought I played this game. Oh, this is so exciting! Jesus Christ. I just hope it looks good on your end as it does on mine. Okay. It I swear it looks like he's dirty doing something dirty with his wiener. Your child is ruined! Ha ha ha! Just kidding. But yeah, this makes me want to, these, the Mario and Luigi and Paper Mario make me want to play less of Pokemon 3D. It's true, this is just good classic games to play. They're so fun and addicting. Oh, it's like heroin, but it's like you want, it's like heroin. You want to keep doing it, but you want to keep trying other drugs as well. Oh, just kidding. Anyway, this is the fun, this is the funny part, watch. I always thought this fun, was funny. Okay, I'm gonna start reading the text now. I mean, if you haven't beaten the game, please die. I'm serious. Go die. Just go. Cr just dig a hole for yourself and die. Because everyone should have pretty much beaten the game. It's like me when I didn't before I beat Ocarina of Time. Everyone was making fun of me because I didn't beat Ocarina of Time. I already want to know it's a smart check on you. I want, what's that daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Weird, a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name, Cammy Koopa. You're an ugly old coot. I would have said bitch, but, oh, what the hell. You're an ugly old bitch. There you go. I wish I had time to teach you a lesson, Brad, but no. Mario, hear this. It is useless for you to try to say Princess Peach ridiculous laughable. As you can have seen King Bowser, more powerful than it, you, even you can deal with the sun. See, it's part of the RPG. We fight the final boss and we're not strong enough, so we have to upgrade and then, you know, and then upgrade. <laughs> That's funny, because isn't it funny how uh, Goom, Goompa was working on the gate and he broke it? It's just a little humor. Just, just watch his face. Look at his reaction. Um, I just <laughs> fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. 
Can't make up with that, did you? Yeah, yeah. You got ki kidnapped again. I want to do a review on Paper Mario 6 Tour. I want to say all the bad things, but I want to like the... As much as I... As much as I hate the game, I want to like the game, okay? Just because the way... Just the way it is. Just the way it turned out to be. That... Oh... See, I, this, um, this game introduces the fact that, you know, not all Goombas and Koopa Troopas are evil. This game introduces that. I guess, I guess whoever gets hired for Bowser, <laughs> look, Mario's like, hmm, what's missing? Oh, yes. Oh, no! What I never understood is, look at this. Whenever a person falls, they fall down like paper and remain completely unscathed. But then why did? It, but then why in the beginning did he fall and actually get hurt? I don't know. Maybe he was maybe he was too weak to somehow do his paper thing and float down. I, I don't know. Sorry, there's something in my- there's a fly in my nose, I'm trying to suffocate it. <sighs> I'm on great. I am of course, where did it go? Oh, that's what happened, it broke- he was fixing it and I guess it just fell apart. Oh well. In order to see and get some... Okay, so if you press A button, it obviously jumps. If you press the Z button, you do a spin. Uh, a person. Well, okay, I thought that that guy was spinning with me. I was like, whoa. Um, actually, in a speed running, I watched the guy do a speed run of Paper Mario. I didn't see the whole thing, but what he did was. Oh. Yeah, I know what a hammer looks like, and I know. What he did basically is when you do that, you stop for a second. But if you press C and then jump at the end, you don't stop. You keep going. That's actually some really useful tips if you're trying to get through the game fast. I mean, this is a good game, and I think you should take your time. But but if you're trying to get through a f area fast, I will just be going a normal speed. I won't be trying to speed run through this game. There's the hammer. You press the B button to use the hammer. I sound like a tutorial. So, you can hit trees with it and blocks on the ground. Uh, and get some coins. Get some coins. An adorable doll that looks exactly like Princess Wall. Is it gonna do that every time I get an item? Well, the pains. Don't worry, guys. We just have to get through this game. This long ass game is probably gonna have lots of flashing effects, glitchy graphics, and shit. I just hope we're. I just hope we don't get to a part where it becomes completely unplayable. Like the whole scenery is just fucked. See, you get coins and stuff. Excuse me, I gotta blow my nose. Sorry about that, guys. So. Yeah, we found we found the hammer and now we have to keep going. Whoa, what Oh yeah, this kid, your ri your arrival. All I gotta do is stomp on him. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? He just does that every time he gets in battle. God dang it. So all you gotta do is jump. All you, so all you gotta do is just keep, you just gotta, you just gotta jump on You gotta jump on him and then with your hammer. This guy actually gets stronger. He's just getting worn up, and he still only does one damage. You just gotta keep jumping up, like that. Two damage. And 
jump on that and then and then he died. Boom! Headshot. You get stuck on Oh, it doesn't look glitchy at the end of battle. I mean, I'll be back. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Wait. Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh! Okay. Okay, I, I... I like what they did with the game. A nice checkered background with a black screen. Um, hang on. So how long does it take to open the menu? It takes like 10 seconds. Oh my god! Yeah, see what I meant by heart? See what I meant by graphical glitches? And bad plugin? Yeah! I don't know how... I see a lot of screenshots for this game. How the hell did they get rid of... Get around this one flaw. Okay, so we're gonna look at the... Well, at least the map's clear clear to look at. I don't know why the menu looks all fucked. It looks like... It, it looks like the game... It looks like the... Some... It looks like the game that hasn't been finished yet. And it doesn't even show my star energy. Oh, yeah, it's because I don't have any. Fuck, I'm stupid. My stupid friend Cole is playing Terraria. Stupid asshole. Just kidding. So it shows our level, our HP, our FP. We're gonna go, what I usually do, just balance each other out. I would say go tank, since tank is so fucking OP. But, for now, but this time we're gonna go, um, balanced. For this playthrough, I, for the purpose of this playthrough, we're gonna go balanced. So does it show the text at least? Um, oh yeah, it does, it does. Okay. At least the menu bar doesn't look all fucked. Okay, so... Oh yeah, because we don't, we don't have any items. Put that away, for fuck's sake. So... Uh, yeah, like I said, well, fuck. Yeah, there's gonna be some parts where it's gonna be like really shitty. So just... Bear in me, I'm trying to do my best. Yeah, I know how to do it. So... Like I said, sorry everyone if it strains your eyes or whatever. There's supposed to be a heart in here. Fuck, I used it! I forgot! Damn it! Every single time I forget that there's a heart in there. Every time I, I'm, I'm like, ooh, mushroom, eat it, heal. I'm like, oh, what's this? It heals you! Fuck! I wasted an item. See? See what I meant? Look at the grout. Look at the landscape. Flashing black. I don't know why none of the other none of the other N64 games have problems. Yes, they have. Some of them have graphical glitches. Not even freaking Paper Mario Thousand Year Door for my Dolphin emulator has this has this many graphical glitches. The only downside to it is, is it's, it runs kind of slowly in the overworld, but the battles still run fast. Wait, in fact, I should check it out. And see, if, I changed a lot of settings, so I should check it out. Apparently, I like on Project M, which is the Super Smash Bros. Brawl hack. Uh, it gives you there's a recommended setting, so I'm wondering, I'm wondering, did the change, did the changes affect um, Thousand Year Door in a good way or a bad way? Okay, so yeah, uh, first strike, so yeah. Uh, like I said, oh fuck, if these glitchy effects effects bother you, just don't watch the video. You don't have to watch this video. If you can bear with me that I'm just trying to play the game, then yeah. Remember, it, they're just visuals. Oh, thanks, thanks, charging. Hang on, this is a minute. The spike on his head, be careful not to jump. Yes. This guy does two damage. Which makes sense, because he has a spike on his But if I had a guy with a spiky hat on his head and he jumped on top of my head, when I have a fucking huge punctured hole in my fucking head, these guys, yeah. If I could, if I could uh, play this on my Wii Virtual Console, I would, but yeah. 
so yeah, these guys... Um, am I gonna do excessive grinding? No, not really, because I think you... I think, um, with the right combination... No, no, I... Did I have to do excessive grinding in my first place with this? I didn't, but I think I still beat the game, so... Like, here, like... What I did here when I played this for the second time was I went, kept going back and forth and beating the same enemies, and then I leveled up once. Yeah. But my goal, my, my, uh, my rule for RPGs is every time you see an enemy, kill him. The grinding is important. Oh yes, and this is one of the new elements of Mario. Uh, star pieces. Star pieces are, are in the second game too. What they do is you find a guy later in the game. Well, not later, he's actually pretty early in the game. Um, where the hell are you going, Goomba? Come on. Or, Goompa Pa. Whatever the hell you wanna, whatever the fuck your name is. Uh, what the star pieces do is you trade them with a guy and you get really rare badges. Trades, I'm here, thanks to Mario. So yeah. So now you can freely go. Um, since you can't take the same way back, I think. Goompa! Goompa pa! I was very worried. If you see freeze for a second, that's me hitting save state. I'm not gonna abuse the load state feature. You know what? Yeah, I'm not going to. Yes, I'm gonna be the ni I'm gonna be the nice guy. In the crowd. Here's oh, see. Sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. The Power Jump Badge. So, despite all these graphical glitches, I'm still wearing the Let's Play this game. I didn't before because I was worried about the flashing effects. It looks like, but still, it looks like a game that's broken and corrupted as fuck. It does look like a pirated version. Uh, no. Actually, yeah, it's for the sake of this. Please don't the mini game is gonna crash. Okay, there we go. Mm. Oh, points to use this. It sucks, because badges require BP and FP. BP to put on, FP to use. Well, then again, I guess that makes sense, because there's really no other purpose for the other two items. himself upon me. 
funny. Lots of the... Well, then again, he's not a kid. He's sort of a... He's an adult. But the hat makes him look like a kid. Well, I guess it's to differentiate from other Goombas. That's our first adventure. Alright, so I think we're gonna end the video here. So, thank you so much for everyone who sticked around for... Well, for the entire video. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, next part, we're gonna break that block and continue on with the adventure, but... Yeah, sorry for everyone who's getting annoyed with the flashing and graphical glitches and like, Oh, this get video sucks. I'm gonna go on. I'm, bear in mind, I'm trying my best to edit it out, so... I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye